Travis, Deshaun Frank Smart, who went by the street name Jimmy Wapo, is a street legend from the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Wapo was born January 13, 1997. He was only 21 when he died. Wapo was an American rapper who was active in the rap culture since 2010. He was signed to pass the current record labels, Taylor Gang and 18 Money Lane Records. He was very talented. Wapo associated with rap artists Wiz Khalifa, 21 Savage, Sony Digital, Metro Boomin, and many more. Wapo made a street name for himself as one of the hottest rappers to flow in Pittsburgh. Joining the wave of WAPO's viral success, Urban Hip Hop blog World Star Hip Hop debuted five of his music videos in 2016. WAPO's first breakout single was Elm Street, produced by Stevie B. Jeans and my Nikes and the Jet Shoe and Dice. Little deck to my left, top dog to my right. Pull up to the light, double cup on some ice. Block 17 if I don't up it quick, it's them, that's my life. In the hood where I'm from, you go through shit you don't like. Elm Street, produced by Stevie B. Complex, included in the Bout to Blow. 10 dope new songs you should be hearing everywhere soon list. In the Wapo success, Wapo then dropped Elm Street 2. 4-3, 3-D, 4 heat. Wapo was an affiliate a fellow Pittsburgh based rapper Wiz Khalifa and his Taylor Gang imprint. In January 2015, Wapo began uploading original tracks to his SoundCloud account. That caught the eye of Taylor Maglin. Taylor, the owner of Pittsburgh-based blog The Daily Loud, partnered with Wapo and began publicizing his music. This additional push 
help him to accumulate millions of views on YouTube. In July of 2016, WAPO premiered his debut project, Wapanese, on Daily Loud. He would then go on to record and release several tracks in solo and joint projects featuring 21 Savage and Wiz Khalifa. Despite the rapper's success, he then started to have legal woes and he jeopardized his rap career and set him back with record labels. On February 7, 2016, Wapo was arrested during a traffic stop in Washington County. 12 arrested two others after finding two stamp bags of suspected heroin and a small amount of marijuana. He was arranged in drug-related court and posted bond in the amount of 25K. Wapo used the funds he obtained through music proceeds to post bond. After being released with stipulations set by the court, he was put on pre-trial release and was ordered to undergo certain adjudications. However, while free, he violated conditions of his release and was sent back to county. Wapo violated his conditions by failing to inform the courts of his trip to New York State, where he was caught in a traffic stop which revealed his posted bond. He was held with no bond and decided to write an album while he was in jail. Wapo was turning into a prominent rapper in the industry. However, behind the scenes, Wapo was dealing drugs and involved in gang activity that caught the attention of the feds. Gang, I just took a trip to Pittsburgh and I'm back. Let's go. Wapo was making good money off his music, but the streets was a stronghold and he couldn't let go of the street life which led to his demise. Wapo hung with killers, and that's merched. Wapo had heavy street ties to the block, which caught the attention of the feds. Wapo was the leader of a notorious gang, the Eleven Hundreds. Wapo led his gang through robberies and murders. Wapo's gang, Eleven Hundreds, are at war with the Wavy Boys in the Hill District of the city. The war started in 2012 when a member of Wavy Boys stole heroin from Wapo's gang. Also, a member of Wavy Boys slid on Wapo's gang, killing a member of 1100, EY, who went by Lumber. Eric Young, 17, went by Lumber and was shot and killed on his way to school. Eric Young struggled to escape gang violence. Eric was shot in the head on the way to school. He had just survived a recent shooting in which he was shot. However, the rival gang wanted him dead. Members of the Wavy Boys are known killers. Four days before shooting EY, they shot up a school van trying to kill another. In Pittsburgh, kids are killing over drugs and girls and illegal drugs. EY claimed 1100, which Wapo was the leader of. 1100 is 800 block of Memory Lane and the 300 block of Burrow Street. The block numbers work out to be 1100. Ever since the Wavy Boys shot and killed EY and stole their heroin, they've been at war ever since. While being on the top of his rap career, Wapo was also calling shots and robberies and murders weeks before he was gunned down. The younger guys took orders from Wapo. Wapo gave orders for the younger cats to handle. Given his stature, he couldn't. The younger guys would commit the acts, rather robbing or murder, then in return, 
WAPO would allow them to be in his videos. Not all members wanted clout of being in videos. Most liked to stay low key and off camera. Those that didn't like the spotlight, WAPO would just give them monetary value or exotic gifts. WAPO ordered hits on rival gang members and on 1100 members that fell short of expectations. WAPO gave direct orders to rob wavy boys, sell drugs, and kill wavy boys. Now by this time, the feds are building a case on the wavy boys and 1100 street gang. The feds stepped in for the state when three members from wavy boys was killed by 1100. United States District Attorney stated today it ends. They announced three deceased members from Wavy Boys, Christopher, Martel, and Jabri, all which were killed within a year. Feds are now building a case on 1100 and have traced the homicides to Wapo's gang. They also come to learn Wapo is the leader and they wiretap his phone. WAPO did not conceal his participation. Feds spent over 80 hours listening and reviewing WAPO's music and found the YouTube video published 2-13-2017 that tied him to criminal acts. WAPO, Pat, and Griffin and 11 others from 1100 referenced to a shooting weeks earlier and stated WAPO stated facts only the assailant would know. They created the video to alert other members of consequences of disloyalty. On one occasion, Wapo was sitting in the back of a car. Someone called his phone and stated, Dude, did you shoot my mother's house up? And Wapo said, No. And if you shoot my grandmother's house up, I'm telling you, you're in trouble. Members knew Wapo was a straight up street dude. He didn't want clout, he wanted power. Power which he paid for. Wapo called shots and stayed with gang. However, that was short lived. On June 18, 2018, Wapo Trayvon Smart was assassinated when a gunman opened fire on Wapo's car in Pittsburgh Hill District neighborhood. Wapo was shot in the head and another was shot in the body and was taken to nearby hospital where he survives. Wapo unfortunately didn't make it. He leaves behind three children. He almost made it out.
rapper about to break through, killed in a drive-by shooting. Jimmy Wapo had quite a following and was known beyond the Pittsburgh rap scene. But his career all ended yesterday when he was shot multiple times in the Hill District. Friends flooded social media after the fatal shooting. Tonight we're learning that uh, he was no stranger to the police. Investigator Marty Griffin has more on why he was well known to police. Marty. Well, police sources confirm that detectives are out on the streets right now trying to determine if in fact the rapper was involved in several uh, shootings. Police sources indicate WAPO being looked at in two homicide cases. Meantime, I spoke to his attorney a short time ago. He says, no way. He says the rapper was a good man who is out of the so-called thug life. We lit like innocent. Bricks coming through the entrance. My trap house got no fence. Rapper Jimmy WAPO, the 21-year-old gunned down in the Hill District last night. Following the shooting, two very different characterizations of WAPO emerging. Police sources confirm WAPO is being looked at for his possible involvement in two homicides. One police source calling WAPO a Hill District terror. Another police source saying, we are going to try to talk to witnesses who were afraid of him. Now we hope they will cooperate. We hope we can now clear a few cases now that he's dead. I also spoke with WAPO's attorney, Owen Seaman. He says the rapper called him 15 minutes before he was shot. He says WAPO was thrilled about a tour and a record deal. He says any allegations that WAPO was involved in shootings is ridiculous. He says WAPO was a kind, hardworking young man looking forward to an amazing future. Meantime, Pittsburgh police have no official comment tonight regarding any alleged investigations WAPO may be involved in. Jeans and my Nikes and the Jets shoe and dice. If was a rap, then your ass is a mic. Go get your brother, get your cousin. Niggas taking your body. It's Jimmy Wapi off the odds. Don't make me do this shit twice. I got niggas throwing bricks for free.